Hello everybody. The Jesus who we meet after the resurrection is someone who we need to pause and get to know. There is such a graciousness and a radiance and a loveliness and a beauty about Jesus after the resurrection. Of course, before that, he was also a wonderful, glorious saviour. But for me, the quality of Jesus that I find as I read the accounts after the resurrection are love and light. He meets his disciples, he meets others in the fullness of love and in the radiance of his risen life. Jesus truly is beautiful beautiful. See him work so tenderly to Mary Magdalene, weeping, not knowing where they've put the body of Jesus. And Jesus simply says to her, Mary, Mary. And might he not be saying the same to you? Wherever you may be at in your journey, knowing you by name, softly, tenderly, calling you. Or Thomas. He could have said to Thomas, you know, doubting Thomas as we call him, although that's not always a fair title. He could have said, Paul, I mean, uh, Thomas, get your act together. But gently, gently, he moves across to Thomas. Thomas, put your fingers in my hand. Put your hand in my side. Feel the nail marks and the spear mark. Um, and Thomas falls on his knees, quite probably, and says simply, my Lord and my God. Yeah. And what about Simon Peter? Now, there was a man who let down Jesus. He really, really did. And would understand that Jesus might just wash his hands of Simon Peter. Well, he was amongst those to whom Jesus said, come and have breakfast. And after the breakfast, he drew Peter aside. And in a remarkably gentle and gracious way, Jesus works with um, Peter. And Peter is able to open his heart and tell Jesus where he is at. And I reckon that for all the great things that Peter did in the book of Acts, the foundation of them all was on that rocky shoreline of Galilee that Sunday morning, as Peter realized he had been forgiven. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the Jesus, friends, who speaks to you and to me. This is the Jesus who invites us. His invitation is, come, come, come. Don't be like the vast majority of humanity and turn your back or put your fingers in your ear and have nothing to do with him. This is Jesus and he loves you. God be with you.